Alrighty boys, so today, I'll go over some of the things that might be added in the next SCP Roleplay update. Basically, I'm going to be going over some of the posts that were approved in the SCP Roleplay Discord. I'll also go over some of the footage in the last update video and share some of my personal thoughts. And let's just start off with the featured Discord suggestions. Full credit to the people that suggested these ideas, these are not mine. And the first approved changes that we have are to SCP-999. Basically, SCP-999 might have some effects around you and the SCP, indicating that you're getting healed. And also, looks like SCP-999 is going to get a pumpkin mask or some pumpkin on its head or something like that, which definitely suggests the Halloween theme we're about to see very soon. Just like the previous Halloween season we saw from last year, there's probably going to be some Halloween stuff as well around the facility. Moving on, we have some changes to the chat logs. And I think when they say chat logs, they might be talking about the radio, how like there's this XX in front of the time, but I feel like they're actually talking about like real chat logs for like custom servers or maybe like admin commands to see what people are talking about. And the next post that was approved is this change to the Chaos Insurance Shotgun Resistance Rank Perk. If you go over to this lock over here, you go to your rank perks, you can see that there are these Chaos Insurance Resistance Perks. But it looks like it's now being replaced with some breaching slash chasing SCP perk, I don't really know. The developers did mention how this might not be implemented exactly as described, but we might see some changes here and there. And guys, at this point, you're probably wondering where all these big updates are at. After all, I believe in their last update video, they did mention how there's going to be a huge update or something that we've never seen before. And honestly, I have nothing to share about that. The only thing I can assume is maybe a new facility or maybe newer SCPs. Or perhaps the devs are just cooking something out of this world, I don't know. I'm just going over the approved posts in Discord, and some of the posts that might have potential, such as an update to SCP-093. Low key guys, I kinda wanna see this SCP in a facility, and even though I know you can just play this event, I feel like having this option might be cool for testing, or just exploring around the SCP, but overall, it'd be cool to see SCP-093 in a facility. Another thing I want to share with you guys that has potential, is a small change to the janitor team. To my knowledge, when you're a janitor, and you get demoted back to Class D, you instantly change and have no warning whatsoever. However, with this change, I think it's going to give you a small warning that your janitor role is expiring for the next minute or so. And speaking about some Class D janitors, there was this one broom closet suggestion that also had some potential. Basically, near SCP-173's containment, there'll be a broom closet. This makes it easier for Class D to clean the containment without being a janitor role in case there's no admin department or O5's presence to make them the janitor, or maybe everyone just wants a broom and clean. So another cool thing that I saw is this internal security department rework. It pretty much mentioned how you should have a phone slash tablet to at least view the cameras. I feel like your main goal is tracking and marking down these chaos insurgencies. I think this will be a pretty cool feature since you don't have to walk all the way to the control room, and also some of the new quests and suggestions were pretty cool. And finally, another suggestions that I saw are these event cooldowns. Now typically, you won't see too many back-to-back -back events, but it could happen sometimes. And I assume that these will be like 5-10 to 10 minute cooldowns every time you do a nuke or maybe a daybreak event. This might even apply for Class D riots, I don't know. So let's just go over some of my personal thoughts. One thing that I might suggest is maybe some new SCPs. For example, SCP-939, or maybe even an SCP-106, or maybe something like an SCP-076. Hopefully, we'll get a new SCP soon. And okay, let's talk about what's next, or what's in the next big update, you guys know what I'm talking about? Because apparently a very large update is coming soon, and I did mention how I kinda want like an SCP-076 entity, or maybe like, either him as an actual SCP in the facility, or maybe even a playable character. Also, let's just talk about this thing right over here. Okay, yeah, I don't even know what this thing is. I'm pretty sure some people in the chat were saying how some sort of, like, maybe it's SCP-076 containment. But let's see the chat over here. It might be an SCP-076 ABLE event. And also some people might want a bigger Sector 3, or maybe a bigger facility in general. Like, here we go. This person says SCP-106, SCP-939, and SCP-035. And I also agree how everything should not be added at once. They should take, like, you know, steps, right? But yeah, let's just read this one message over here. Next month, we will be having a special event unlike anything we've seen before. But then after following this special event, they'll be having a large-scale update implementing changes that have been desired from the community for a long time. We actually might be seeing like maybe a Sector 4, a rework facility, some like SCP-076, some like, like some next level stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about? But guys, listen, we have to be very patient about these updates, okay guys? We have to be very patient. 
But anyways, people, that's literally it for now. That's everything that I have. And hopefully when this new update comes out, I am able to stream it. But like, guys, my internet has been so bad lately, so don't be surprised if I'm not live streaming during the day of the update. I might just make a video on it. But anyways, boys, those are the things that might be added into the game and things that we can potentially see in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like. If you guys didn't, make sure you guys dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.